what's different about the MA in participation, power and social change, or MAP as we call it. Um, I think what's distinctive about MAP is that we work with a different approach to learning. We draw a great deal on different pedagogical approaches from most of the MA programmes here at IDS. We use experiential learning a great deal, partly because we try to appeal to practitioners who actually work in the field of development and want to come and get a master's. Um, so we bring in their experience and use it a great deal in the classroom. We deliberately teach and learn with a reflective learning approach in which people apply a critical reflective perspective to their own practice to try to improve the way that they do things. We use group work a great deal in the classroom. We use student-led learning a lot. And at the end of their 12-month MA, uh, students spend four months doing a critical inquiry into practice where they go out into the real world and do something that's really much more than just a standard dissertation project. They do something which is a really critical searching inquiry into the way that they practice as development practitioners or the way that the organisation that hosts them goes about its work. Well, definitely uh, the words that I would use to describe this master for me, it has been a very long and very good learning process. It has been a very personal journey through my own background, my previous experience in development, and my encounter with new concepts on development that I, I wasn't familiar with in the past. I think when I started the course, I was very much a practitioner. And then over the time that we've been working together, I feel that like I've changed and become not just a practitioner but also someone who's um, also a researcher but also someone who's really looking at their overall practice and bringing theory and the sort of wider world into it. So I've changed from being someone who was very focused on what I was doing to being very aware of what's, what I'm doing within a wider context, uh, within the wider context of development but also within the wider field that I was working in. They get an increased depth to themselves as individuals, as learners and as practitioners in developmental social change because of the very uh, reflective methods that we use in our teaching and learning and because of the practical component of the course which I think really brings that out. Um, they also get to work and to form their ideas within an approach which is not the traditional aid industry approach of aid donor countries working in and with aid recipient countries but which is within a framework of global solidarity and work for global social justice whether that happens to be on a community project in southeast london which is where some of our students have have done their critical inquiry into practice or on more typical development programs in an african country for example now i finished it seemed like a really good time to take a step back and reflect on what i've been doing and where i want to go in the future and i feel that since doing the course and meeting everyone here at ids and meeting my colleagues on the course i feel that doors have been opened to me or avenues have been opened to me that i would never would have thought before and i feel that i can do things that I never sort of thought that I would be able to do before. So I've, instead of going where I thought I was going, I feel that now I have a lot more options to go wherever I want to. Uh, through the Master I've learned that we can look at reality and we can learn from reality and from our own experience in a critical way and in a very productive way. And I think this is the biggest learning that I got from this Master. I would describe the Masters in Power Participation and Social Change as being about passion, being about learning, being about friendships and being about new horizons.